Hi everybody, this is Ray and it's show me time. I have a Creek Company float tube. It's uh, a ODC 420 ultralight. And uh, it has clips here, hangers, or what do you want to call them? Hooks, hooks to hang stuff or pull things. I have this for hooking up, hooking up this in case I would get out of it and the wind would take it away. I have this attached to me on my left vest or something or if I know I'm going to get out of it then I hook it up. This is the net made out of Velcro. I don't like it because Velcro dust clings to it and then it doesn't eventually work. And I think this is more or less to keep the form, helps keep the form. Some of them are made with uh, tubing, like an inch tubing across here. And uh, I don't think you need it but it's for keeping your fish and your baits from falling through in case you drop one when you're changing it. This thing has has uh, something for beer or soda. There's clips on the side here and here. There's plenty of room. Both sides are like this. They have webbing. They have this attachment. They have one here. And one here, a zipper. <coughs> you can put flat, flat stuff or whatever. <coughs> this thing is made out of, out of, uh, the seats are made out of <coughs> plastic. And you blow it up. And it's got like a beach ball type blow up. I don't really like it. I had this out on a lake for three times and it sprung a leak around the valve. And the bottom one too is the same way. It's got a valve. But you're supposed to push it in. When I pushed it in, that's when it leaked. So I had to keep it out. I put like four layers of glue around there and hopefully it'll hold it. And if it don't, I'm going to put uh, high density foam in there. I'll cut one up and you can slip it right in there. And here's some Boston valves. I think they're the best thing. I thought that this thing was going to get Boston valves too. But when I got them, both of them didn't have it. And I didn't complain about it because <clears throat> I thought that was dumb. And then they got rings down here. So you can carry it. You can put a strap on here. There's holes right here. There's holes right there. Here's the straps and holes for drainage in the boat back of the boat. And then there's a strap on the back end for holding. something here strap to keep it up and the bladder is not waterproof this this part of it the covering the red covering is not waterproof so the bladder gets wet I just stick it outside and let it dry but it's a shame that um, this can't be waterproof and uh, so you don't have to worry about it, everything getting all wet there's clips on this side too, just like on the other side for hanging things or attaching stuff. <clears throat> this is a Velcro. You can adjust it. Um, I had this. They sent me one through the mail and the thing leaked. One side was bad and the tube I don't know, they must have sewed it up wrong because it didn't look right. 
and the bells, the Boston bells were like in the in the plastic, and you had a hard time unscrewing it. And one side would leak completely in in a couple hours, and then uh, I had to take pictures and send them pictures of it, and. They said they were going to contact me and let me know stuff, and I never got any contacts. I got a few down the line. I got like two in my spam folder and two in my inbox folder, and nobody really answered my emails. I emailed them after like two weeks. I emailed them, emailed them every other day. I Every other day, I emailed them trying to get an answer from them, telling me what's going on, what are you doing about it. They could have told me anything. The phone number they give you don't work, but it does work. <clears throat> what happened is, uh, after about two and a half, three weeks, I decided to uh, give them a nasty email and saying, uh, what I'm going to do if you guys don't give me some information and feedback on what's happening. I don't know what you're doing. Anyways, the same day I did that, there was a package on my on my porch, and I didn't know that until after I did the nasty note. And then they, uh, I went outside and got it, and it's like, whoa, it came, and blew it up, and it didn't leak. It looked like this, and... I thought it was in good shape, it was sold right, and uh, it was fine. And I could tell it was fine right away when I got it. They gave me a bad one or something, I don't know. They should look at the boxes before they send them out. <clears throat> but uh, what happened is then I sent them back an email saying, I'm sorry, I didn't see it on the porch, but it came today, and uh, I told him that, and then 10 minutes later, the guy calls me up and says, is this Ray, and he bitched me out and swore at me and then hung up, so evidently the phone number worked because that's the phone number I got, it's just selective hearing. When they want to, when they want to use their phone, they'll use it. But uh, this I only used three times, and uh, the third time I used it, this is when that sprang a leak. So I probably won't buy another one from them. And uh, it was on sale. Uh, I think I paid like 125 for it or something. And uh, I thought it was a great price because I don't know if I want one. So anyways, that's that's what I did. And uh, I mean, it's good, but I think it could have been better. Things could be better. They wouldn't have to have Velcro on there. They should have had some other attachment like the ones that are more expensive have. I bet you it cost them just much for the stupid wedding. But, uh, anyways, that's it. You know, so I, I myself, I won't get another one from the company. And, uh, because I'm getting older here and I don't want to. I can make one trip from my car to the lake. With all my fishing stuff, I can attach my vest and all my fishing stuff on me hanging somehow, and then just carry this. So, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, it's my review. I I'd probably give it a a three, possibly a four, but I would give the company. A good old one.